be folding the ones like a cunt would. You don't want to be out of your mind, man. You don't want to be out of your mind. That's pride right there, man. That's all pride. It's all over football as well, you know. Some stupid game of football. He's going to have to go to the court. He's going to have to go to the court. He's talking that shit. That's pride. That's all he's going to pride. Yeah, yeah, pride, pride. That's all he's going to pride. That ain't nothing for him. Yeah. If they don't ruffle his, they don't ruffle his ass to the floor, and he's still popping shit, man. Stop selling wolf tickets, man. Anyway, the police are different, man. Other countries, they don't give a damn. If it was America, they would have tasered his fucking ass, man. They would have tasered his ass. Might have shot him if he's a if he's a nigger, ain't it? Yeah, they would have shot him if he was a black man. Yeah, yeah, from the news terrorist. Yeah, he was. They would have just shot him. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 25 The Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons So those missiles, wait a minute, so those missiles that those nations got That's known as the Lord's armory right there Go on brother And his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord power See, of hosts For this is the work of the Lord of the power of hosts Because even the angels have a part in this to play as well as I just read to you earlier before So this ain't on Esau This ain't man doing what they're doing. This is the Lord pretty much leading men to do what they're doing. That's what this whole story of life is all about. You understand? And, and that's just the thing. That's why you have to walk in the spirit. The more you walk in the spirit, the more you will see things from a higher perspective. There's a high, there's different levels to this thing. Mm. You know, there's different levels to a lot of things, even in boxing, um, um, even when it comes to all kinds of sports. Yeah. Or knowledge. There's different levels to knowledge. But the highest, the highest knowledge is known in these scriptures and you'll find out that the Lord, He controls all aspects of life. Yeah. Okay, so that's why you, that's why you gotta always stay in the scriptures so that you can maintain that high way of understanding. Because if you don't stay in the scriptures, you're gonna be talking from your own carnal perspective. I mean, we get carnal because we're in, we're in the, we're in the carnality. Yeah. So we will get carnal. But the main, the main thing is we gotta stick with this right here. You know, we gotta realize that the law controls everything. Go on, brother. Uh, I'll do that again. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Right, which is um, Babylon the Great, which is America. Go on. Come come against her from the utmost border. Right. Open the storehouses. Yep. Cast her up as heaps yep. and destroy her utterly. Right. Let nothing of her be left. Right. So America's not going to be nothing left in it because the armory of the Lord are going to go forth from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth and hit ground zero on the shores of America and America no more. And you can read the book of uh, Isaiah 13 that how that land is going to be a no a no man's land. Even an Arabian even Arabian tent won't pitch there. <laughs> as it says in the book. Slay all her bullocks. <laughs> Let them go down to the slaughter. Right, and slay all the bullocks like I was like I was talking about before, about how um, in the book of Isaiah, in the Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 13, it says that um the Lord have a sacrifice in the land. I think it's Isaiah 34. Yeah. But that's horrible though. I mean, that's talking about the people. The, the lambs and the goats is talking about the people. So when you read, I don't cut you, brother. So when you read, so read that again. Verse 27. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter. Right, a bullock is, I believe, is a cow or ox of some kind. Which, again, that's talking about the people. Bullock, again. as a, yeah, a cattle, like I believe it's a male. Uh, oh, yeah, so it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a bullock. Yeah. It's, it's a male, bullock. Male cow. Come on, come on. Kettle, yeah. yeah, I just thought about it, right? Just thought about it just now. Go on, brother. Woe unto them, for their day is come, and their time, and the time of their vi uh, visitation. Yeah. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our power, the vengeance of his temple. That's it on that. So the point of the matter is the Lord is, is involved in his war. The Lord is involved in setting Esau up the destroyer of the of the, uh, the face of the planet. Okay? The destroyer of the earth. He's gonna use the destroyer to destroy himself. As the saying goes, you live by the sword. By the sword, and the most is going to make a prime example by using Esau to use your stack. So everything serves a purpose. Um, 
Now they going, now they going to rest his house. I'm the one that's going to pop it. Yeah. And they folded them like a cheap camera. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all vanity, man. When you pop on shit, man, and you talking yeah. all kind of nonsense to the cops, man. Just shut your mouth, man. That's, that's once once, that's, once they give you, right, once they give you, exactly, brother. Once they give you those three handcuffs, man, just just be quiet, man. Then you ain't gonna do nothing go. about it. And he yeah, walked away. And yeah, then, he, shit, yeah he, didn't, he didn't, he had an option not to even just to walk up, just walk on, man. Yeah. But he blew it. He like, blew it. Man. I got home, <laughs> had some coffee, come with drunkenness down. That's something up. Yeah, um, now, what you said now with the missiles. So now, uh, in the 1980s, when there had the Cold War between America and Russia, because it's been going on since uh, after the end of uh, World War II, America and Russia, like almost coming head on, but they never really ever went head on because I'm going to prophecy is going to happen at the end. But in the 1980s, they came about, uh, they came to the table and came out with like peace deals. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, the I INF agreement where they are, they are both never going to, they're not going to create, uh, uh, what do you call those, uh, missiles. Oh, you mean, you mean the INF, you're saying? INF. INF. Yeah, 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 the yeah. covenant. They made a covenant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those missiles, because they are every, all of them, they have, uh, they are, what do you call it, uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles, the one which America can fire from America. Russia the from America. Exactly. Yeah. But you get the short range missiles where they are, they are very much offensive. Like they can put them closer to let's say, Russia and America can put theirs closer. Russia can put theirs closer to America mm -hmm. and they are harder to, uh, to defend against. Yeah. And they are treated pretty much they had a, they had an agreement where none of the none of those countries were gonna uh, make any of those type of uh, weaponry. Right, and it, was, and it was to keep Europe safe. Yeah. That was the whole INF covenant that they made. But see, what's happening is, is, and I'm glad that the brother brought that out, because what's happening is, is America has drawn out of the INF deal, and also Russia has drawn out of the INF deal. So now all bets are rough. All bets are rough. So continue on, brother. I just wanted to bring that in there. So can I say something? No, I wanted to finish what he was saying. I just, wanna, just one last point. So basically, the one thing that kept the two nations at peace, exactly. the agreements that they had, they both, they both now ripped them apart. Yep. And now the both sides created the weapons that they are uh, that they agreed from the, from the 1980s. They both now started creating the weapons that they are uh, that they agreed not to create. Right. And then it only took like it only took uh, just as soon as they ripped them apart, they both they, they both had those missiles in production now. So they already had it on the drawing board now to create them. And then now both nations are saying, "Listen, ours is more powerful than yours." And right. the other was saying, "Ours is more powerful than yours." Exactly. So now, as far as war is concerned. They are now both ready to go head on, uh, head on now. Yeah, because of the because they broke the agreement, yeah. and that's what Esau does. All Esau does is they will come to some kind of agreement or make some kind of covenant, and they'll break their own covenant. Now. But again, it all goes back to the spirit of the Lord because this is the this is the Father's will. The Father's will is for these nations to go head head to head, toe to toe, missile for missile, to destroy this kingdom. So in order for that to be done, they're gonna have to pretty much what is it? Break that covenant. Uh, please, please, please. This is our uh, Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, Man's goings are of the Lord. How, nice can, a, yeah. how can a man then understand his own way? Exactly. So, again, because when you really check it out, right, the so called white man and this, this empire as a whole, they benefited when they were all together. Because there was a time where Russia and America, they were, they were together. They were cool. Okay? And um, even NATO, they were all cool. Now NATO was being divided as well. All right, which NATO stands for the um, what is it, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which they made a treaty, meaning a covenant, that they was going to stick together. The European Union and um, America was going to be the head of that. That's what you get. That's what you find in um, Revelation 17 about the woman that sat upon the scarlet colored beast. That represents NATO, but that's even breaking apart. Okay, because within Revelation 17, it speaks about how these shall hate the all. Okay, and the thesis is talking about the EU. Go on, brother. Yeah, so that's what's happening. So, war is about the, the war is about to break loose now. Everything that we've been saying for, for the longest run is now about to come into it's now about to come into full into fruition. Now. All bets are up because their thing was just to keep Europe safe. The iron, what is it? The INF, 
What is the iron? Let me see what the iron F stands for. Uh, if I can remember, I, I, I really can't remember right now, but it stands for something. If you know the top of the head, bro. Uh, I, 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 I've been reading it all week here, but then now it's like. What? The iron F. Hey, you got a push up, man. Uh, Ecclesiastic 3. Oh, okay, he got some. Ecclesiastic 3 and 1 and it says, in everything there is, in everything there is a season and a time to every purpose, and the time to every purpose under heaven. Oh, that's what it's called. The Intermediate Range Nuclear Force Treaty. The iron, what is it, the, uh, the, uh, the INF. So they made the covenant saying that, look, we're not going to do certain things. I'll have to go and look into it more so, right? But they've breached, they've breached, they've breached the, um, the treaty and all bets are up. So read what you got. It's like Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 and it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under yeah. the heaven. Yeah. Jump down to 8 and it says, A time to love and a time to hate. Yeah. A time of war in the time of peace. Right, so the Mosai's gearing things up for the time of war, as we just read in the scriptures in Revelations. And also Joel, where it speaks about there's going to be a, a, a day in the time. I'm really referring to Revelations though. It's, um, it says um, that there was going to be a day in time where um, that's, that, that city, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed. So the Mosai's leading everything to that, that particular point of time. Because the Mosai does everything in his time and in the right time. You know, God, God. Uh, this is our uh, first Thessalonians 5 and 2 and it says for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord will come at the fifth in the night for when they shall say peace and safety the sudden destruction coming upon them as travel upon a woman with child and they shall not escape Right, because that's what they're going to say when it's all said and done. They're going to say, well, well, I'm, well, not when it's all said and done, when it's almost said and done. They're going to say, well, it's, everything's going to be all right, it's going to be fine. You know, you as the people, civilians, don't have to, have, have to worry about anything. But once they get done saying that, hey, man, then destruction's going to occur. Then that nuclear destruction of the nation of Malfi is going to occur. And destroy, and destroy this whole entire existence from off the face of the map. And there's another precept to connect with what you just read as well. You got a precept, right? I'm trying to put all your mind, but I can't find it. Well, how does it sound like? Um. Now he's looking for it. I'll go on if I can. Okay. Uh, this is Job 5 and 12, and he says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Yeah, and that's talking about the elite power structure. They have different plans that they want to bring on the planet, but the most is going to put a monkey wrench within their plans and upset their whole entire setup. Because yeah. Esau is natural crap. Oh, when all these peace, peace deals that they keep coming up with, yeah. they come to the table, they agree on peace and whatever they, they come up with. And then eventually turn around and rip it all apart. Yeah. And then now again we're back to square one now. <laughs> you know? So the Lord keeps well disappointing, you know, preventing all those peace treaties from uh, from happening. Yeah. Because um, I remember even um, I remember even in the I'll call it the 2010s, the early 2010s. That's all you've ever heard about countries getting together trying to make peace treaties and all of that stuff. Um, and now, like you said, where we at? Back to square one again. So it didn't work. Okay, where, where did all of this peace talk? Get these nations, get these Edomites, they got them nowhere. Because that's not the agenda of that problem. Alright? Okay, go on, bro. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 22 and 6. And he said unto me, yeah, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you get it in now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a human spirit, right? And he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. The Lord power of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew us unto the servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of his book. Yeah. And, uh, 
Okay, I'll keep it uh, Revelation 22 and 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord power of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. One of those things that might shortly come to pass is our World War III. Alright? Because World War III, man, from, 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 from the Old Testament prophets uh, to the books of Revelation, you know, he keeps speaking about World War uh, III. Okay, how about the second chapter as well? He keeps speaking about World War III, World War III, World War III. Yeah. Alright? And he says, Blessed is he that keepeth the, the sense of this sense of this prophecy. So at the end of the day, is that's all that's going to be left. If I get uh, what is this? For those who are in that room, you will see the spirit is working through you too. You just got to just follow the spirit, you know. I was going to tell you to get back to sleep for. I was going to get back to sleep for. I was going to get back to sleep for. Chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And I will see, every time you're watching the news, you're seeing what's going on and you're going through it and breaking down in the scriptures, man. That's you standing upon the tower, man. Yeah? Because you're giving the people warning and telling them, listen, this is what the scriptures say. This is why this happened. This is why he says this and that in the scriptures, man. Alright? Because another one, because the Lord did say, how do we know it's the time of the end? By watching for the things that are going on around the world. Alright? Right, so they said, um, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make a plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And to make it plain upon table simply means to break it down, man. Who said that last time? It's like I said, they have a table at their camp now. Because that's the person making it plain upon tables. Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah. That's, that's their justification having a table and they put books and show them them. Right, right. All that means just break it down for them, make it clear. Right. Yeah, because you, know? you know what? And I want to I add on to that because you do got certain guys, man, that have, they will bring a whole entire desk outside, man, and, and have all of these books. Like, you ain't got to do all of that, man. The Lord never said sit up a table, man. Come on, bro. But if you if you give if you give double honors to our apostles, if uh, double honors to the apostles of great wisdom, this and that, but then you don't follow after their example, man. Have you ever seen them have a table on their camp? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Oh, I learned from this man. But then again, you don't follow none of none of the example that they teach by man. Yeah. I've never seen one time the apostles have a table say make you clean upon tables. Because yeah. they could pick that table up and throw it at your house. <laughs> <laughs> As if you're selling books, you know, you should yeah. put them properly in the side and make it clean. Come on, man. Go. And the stick, right, yeah, the stick. Oh, Ezekiel 37, yeah, yeah, and the yeah, stick, yeah. is that right? In the name of the tribe, and that's your stick, man. Who? I've, 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 I don't know. So, what, Sean? Yeah. No, brother, we can tell we don't have to put a stick on there. Yeah, just talk, yeah, talk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Ezekiel 37, oh, because of Ezekiel 37, the stick. Come on, man. Because you have, we even got other camps that I've seen have a stick, too. They, they, where they, they, you know, they, um, they're holding the shillelagh, you call it. That's what happens, you see, when, when you start watching everybody and you start taking a piece of what you like from each camp and then you try to create your own thing, man. Mm. Oh, this group have a stick, so I'm going to have a stick. I like that group because they have a table, I'm going to get the table. Right. I like the other group because they go whatever and they have, you know. Right. What's up? Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 7. Also, Je Jeshua and Bani and Sheri uh, Sheribao, Jamin, Akub, Shabithai, Hodajo, Maasayo, Kilaito, Azariah, Josabad, Josabad, Hanan, Philayo, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law. And the people stood in their place. So they read in the book, in the law of the Most High distinctly and gave the sense and cause them to understand the reading. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good precept. That's a very good precept. 
That's all it is, man. You, you give the people the understanding, man. You make it clear what this is. Because whether they get it or not, at the end of the day, it's, it's up to the Heavenly Father. Man. Because at the, see these scriptures, they get broken down so simply, man. Um, um, well, let me just read verse 12. And all the people went their way to eat and to drink and to send portions and to make great mirth because they had understood the words that were declared unto them. Ezekiel chapter 3 and 1 Moreover he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Yeah. Then did I eat it, and was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. That's it, man. That's, that's it. <laughs> You know, you go, you go, you go, you understand, so you go break it down to those that don't understand. There you go, yeah. Okay. That's what it is. Right. So let's say, uh, have a quick back up, have a quick two verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, the visions that are the, the prophecies of this book. See, World War Three. See, it's every day you read the news. I'm the one time, one week go by, and there's nothing intense on the news concerning World War Three happening. Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scripture says, even though it tarry, man, for a long time it seems like you know nothing keeps happening. Nothing keeps happening. But I said, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come to pass, man. Okay. Yeah. You also uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You know? Yeah. All these things must come to pass. So another thing is, before the World War III actually kicks off first, the same prophecy that we got, the mark of the beast prophecy that has to kick in first. You know, before, they, before all these nations launch their nuclear missiles. You know? So all these things, man, is 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 right now 2019. Like we're in February already, man. So it's like time is flying. Everything is being sped up. Exactly. These nations are, are are like are like two dogs in different cages. One is barking, one is barking. Just waiting to release so they can fight, man. You know? It's growing up right now, man. Okay. Because the weeks is going by like days now. Yeah. It's like every day we got camp. Pretty much. Literally, yeah, yeah. We go home and then let's go back here again. You know? As it tells you in the same in the same um, chapter, it says um, that the, the, the Lord shortened the days for the election. And that's what's happening. Like the brother said. So, hey, that's like, what it is. We're about to come up to Passover. It feels like last Passover was just, just, just recently. Man. Yeah. It feels like it's two months ago. That, that now, this is second Passover together now. Hmm. You know? Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and the earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. I like to read the one before that again. Uh, verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Well, see, right now, is it? There's a, there's a. Uh, I mean, when I walked here, you guys were speaking about it. How like uh, there's all these strange weather going around. Like you go, you go one part of the earth where they are, the where they are receiving uh, extreme weather conditions, record breaking. Yeah. In America, they mm -hmm. like uh, it's like yeah, it's Chicago cold. Or as cold as the North Pole, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then on the other side of the earth. They are receiving uh, record breaking heat waves. Exactly. Uh, Australia, yeah. wild animals are just dying off yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the rivers are drying up. Um, the trout. The you know? trout and stuff. Yeah. So, all, kind of, all kinds of things that are happening all around the world. The earth yeah. is, 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 they are saying like 2019 could be also record breaking 
with the natural disasters, earthquakes and everything. I saw an article about it. I think I said the summer. So we have a 7.2 earthquake, we have 8.6, and they vary in sizes too. And it's just coming more rapidly. So, you know, very well. More so than ever before. Like back in the past, you know, you heard about an earthquake every once in a while, but now it's just uncommon. Going yeah. and going. So we're in the days, like the brother saying. I mentioned the point about the, the polar frost in America. They, they showed uh, when you spray water in the air, it was so cold that it, it would start to become yeah, icicles. Yeah, yeah. And people died. There, one person was on his way to work, and he died of he froze to death. Yeah. So they said there's no suspicions. He, he did actually fro, fro, yeah, freeze people, to death yeah, in America. Yeah. You got and people freezing to death in their, in their sleep. Yeah, but they were saying uh, like when you go outside, don't breathe the air, man. Don't breathe that air. That's something you see in a place like Russia, where it gets so cold that when you take a, 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 a vest in the hot water, mm. you throw it in the air, and yeah. then it just it freezes up straight away. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know? But you now they're getting that, that in a place where they've never had such weather before, man. So obviously, uh, they're not ready for it, number one, because they don't get it all the time. Yeah. The Russians, they get it all the time. Calm. But even they themselves, they are the record-breaking cold weather, man. It's, it goes so cold beyond what they, they're normally used to. Yeah. You know? So, Matthew 16 of verse uh, 2, verse 1. The Pharisees also, when the Sadducees came and tempting, desired him that he should, he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, he say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. So that's a, a, a sign, right? When you see that um, if the sky is red, you think that. That's a sign showing you that the, the, the weather will be fair. But yeah. you gotta let them break it down because it's sticking out. Yeah, yeah but uh, if you can see, like a sunset, when they think, you see the red sun, but the cloud is clear, the sky is clear. You can see the stars and everything. Right, so you know it's not gonna rain or nothing like that at that point. Cool. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites! You can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the times? So there's a whole list, and uh, if you go to uh, get, uh, Matthew 24, either Matthew or, or, or Luke, how does it go? Where's uh, the fig tree? Oh, yeah, that's in Matthew 24, Matthew 24 verse. Uh, stop the verse, let me see 12. Ah, uh, 32. Yeah, 32. 32. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, Matthew 24, verse 32. No, nah, brother, let him read it, man. Let him read it. Uh, right. Matthew 24, 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, which is branch is yet tender, and put a fourth leaf. You know that summer is nigh. Yeah, because every time, like, um, after winter, straight away, you, you know the winter's almost over because the flowers start coming out on the trees, the fruits start coming out, you know. The tree, it just look like a dead tree, but when, the, when spring comes, like then it becomes alive all of a sudden. The leaves coming out, like looking green and healthy, flowers, fruits, and all sorts of things on the thing. You see your, the outside of your backyard is messed up because, you know, the, the leaves are everywhere. It's like where I live at, right? Yeah, so like when the, when, the, when, the, um, when, the, when, um, when the season's done, what happens is there's a whole heap of different um, leaves and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's when like winter comes in, all the trees fall off the tree. Yeah. All the leaves fall off the tree. Yeah. You know, and then goes back to that state again. Yeah, yeah. Rich, so like Exactly. Uh, it says, So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Yeah, so when you start... Like if you read from above, when you start to see all these things happening all around the world, you turn on your TV, you're hearing wars, you're hearing all these natural uncontrollable disasters going on around the world, uproars of the people, like uh, you got the yellow vest situation in France. You got so many things going on around the world, some of them is, is they're only re reporting the ones that they feel is relevant. Mm. And then there are other things right. you kinda have to dig them out on the internet or whatever to mm. report about them, you know? Everybody is uh, protesting against their governments. Okay, so many places. I mean, there's, there's a martial law in some, uh, some of the more white countries. You know? And there's so much news that you can't even keep up with it. 
Yeah, there's so race wars. South Africa has race wars. Iso is training because Iso is expecting an attack from uh, the blacks in the country. And them Hamites is expecting an attack from them Hamites. Uh. So Iso is preparing, you know, gearing up, putting up our guns and everything because, you know, they're. They're expecting an all, an all out race war, man, because those Hamites, they want their land back. Yeah. You know? So all kinds of things are going on around the world, man. So when you see all these things, you know this is the time now, you know, when, when the Lord is coming, man. Exactly. Uh. Well, well spoken, man. Well spoken. Verily yeah. um, I say unto you, to generate this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. See, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word. So, part of the word, the Lord's word is the prophecy. IUIC said, "Why we're just going to be carrying on our normal like this today, and then you know the chariots are going to come and they'll take us away. There won't be nothing like Jacob's trouble or nothing like that." All right, part of the Lord's word is a uh, is what Jacob's trouble, you know. So a time of all-out chaos is coming just before the Lord, uh, that person we said, man. Uh, they sh uh, I come to bring fire, but where will I unless be king? Yeah. So all kind of madness is coming, man. So this is on 2nd Ezra 6 verse 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The woman with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live. Verse 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be open before the firmament, and they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The woman with child shall bring forth untimely children. Did you say monsters, right? No. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Into, into the next thing. I want to show you, brother, something. Real quick, right? the word, I look at the word monster. Um, when a child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and when they shall and, and they shall live and be raised up. Keep going, keep going. And suddenly shall the sown places appear. Now, now go, go up a couple of verses. Go on, go first. Go the first. <coughs> And therefore, when it speaketh, be not afraid, for the word is of the end, and the foundations of the earth is understood. And why? Because the speech of these things trembleth and is moved, for it knoweth that the end of these things must be changed. And it happened that when I had heard it, I stood up upon my feet and hearkened, and behold, there was a voice that spake. And the sound of it was like the sound of many waters. And it's and it's and it said, Behold, the day is come that I begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. And when the word that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be open before the firmament. Yeah, we are slow, brother, so I can catch up. And they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children okay. of three or four months old. And they shall live and be raised.